everybody, GC. I just wanted to show you all that I got my two ballasts hooked up. They're hooked up to uh, just normal extension cords. Um, they're both 142 watt ballast. Um, they come with um, the igniter built in and everything like that. Um, pretty much what we've done is run the green wire from the extension cord to the ground. Your white into your um, into your common wire input on the ballast, and then um, your black to your hot wire. Same thing on this side, a little bit different colors of wiring. And then I've ran red and black wire, red being common, white or red being common, black being pa um, your um, hot wire. I've done that on both of them running up. As you can see, I have plenty of wire to spare, so I can hang them where I need to in the tent. Let me zoom one out here. And um, then they're hooked to two homemade cool tubes, like such, just using the stock adapter, or the stock um, mount that came with it. This one has a little bit of an extension on it that I fabricated on there. I'll probably end up doing that with the other one, as you can see, the extension. I'll probably end up doing the same to this one, because it kind of sits up close to the glass. If not, this one, however, doesn't, if it's bent the right way. Nonetheless, it's going to get the job done. As you can see, I've got my two things up here, and we're going to plug them in. One, two. Takes them a little while to fire up, because they're HPSs, of course. They're just plugged into the wall. Slowly getting brighter. They'll turn an orange, just amber color. They're not going to stay blue. They're not metal halides. You can see that one's blue. This one's turning orange already. I'll plug that one in first. Plus, the ballast is a lot stronger on that one, I believe. That's the brand new ballast that I was, I've been waiting for. And this is the older ballast, so the igniters are both built in, but I feel like the newer ballast will obviously run better. And as you can see, they're lighting up rather well. I'm pretty much lighting up the whole room. Super bright, huh? Now, hang this over a plant. You can see the light off the wall. And uh, we're ready to go. All I need to do now is get my um, my four to six inch ducting, or three to six, whichever it may call for. It's just a splitter. It's an adapter splitter, and that's how they'll kind of sit in inside of the, refle the reflector. We'll lay across the top of it. Plant will be underneath of it. I'm going to fabricate the reflector in. Um, one tube will come out here. Another tube will come out here into the adapter, which makes it into one six-inch tube, which then will have flex piping that goes up and up into the fan so the air can constantly pull through these. Because as you can see, they're hollow all the way through. And that's about it, fellas. There's a do-it-yourself uh, thread, and uh, so do-it-yourself.